Hey guys, uh, welcome to your general reading for Cancer. Uh, this is going to be for your February 2024. Um, you can apply this to any of your placements. We are going to take a look and see what spirit wants you to know at this time, okay? Um, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situation, okay? Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective, um, for the collective cancer people. Not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on uh, when my new videos post, when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Uh, support me on there too, okay? So Cancer, tell me about Cancer. What messages do we have here for Cancer from their spirit guides here? What messages do we have here for uh, Cancer from Spirit here for February 2024 for Cancer, for Cancer? Okay, so we have the Magician here, Gemini Virgo here, and the uh, uh, the Moon, Cancer Pisces here. You know, I, I feel like, you know, I do feel like you guys are definitely spending a lot of time in the 5D here, okay? Uh, you guys are spending a lot of time in the spirit realm, in the psychic realm here, and I do feel like you guys are definitely gathering, like, a lot of knowledge and wisdom or even healing energy to bring forth in the three, in the 3D here. You know, some of you guys could be shamans, okay? Uh, some of you guys could be shamans and you guys don't even know it, okay? So I do feel like there's something very special happening to you and I feel like this is opening up to you for a reason here. And I feel like your guys and uh, your spirit guides want you to embrace it here. The Magician Gemini Virgo here and the Moon Cancer Pisces here, the Five of Cups. You know, I feel like you're feeling a lot of energies in and around you guys. Yeah. And I feel like it's really important because that you could take on so many energy or that you sense so many energies around you. It's really important to protect your guy, uh, protect yourself uh, 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 by having strong energetic boundaries here. We have the full card here, Aries energy, Aquarius energy. We have the Ten of Cups. And then we have the Ten of Swords. Okay. Seems like there could be an ending that's happening here. You know, some of you guys could be walking away from a relationship or some sort of family situation here that has been very disappointing to you. Because I feel like whatever you've been on regarding your journey here, I don't, I feel like these individuals have not supported you in any sort of way here. And I feel like you're, you're kind of like someone here who's been you know, standing up for yourself or trying to defend yourself or something like that. And you feel like you're, you're no longer doing that, okay? So we have the magician here. Nine of Wands, the Moon, and the Queen of Swords here. I do feel like your gifts are being activated here or that it's coming online here. I feel like you guys are feeling really overwhelmed by this, but I feel like Spirit is asking you not to turn your back on it, and they're asking you to embrace it here. You know, even though you have guides that are guiding you through things in life here, you know, I, I mean, at the end of the day, you know, you could choose to listen or not. And, you know, it's really up to you because you only you know what's best for you and nobody else, you know? And they're just there to help you, guide you and stuff like that. Be your friends, you know, uh, and make jokes and be funny and stuff like that, you know? So we have the Five of Cups here and the Three of Swords. Okay, we have the uh, Fool card here and the Death card here. Yeah, there could be some sort of relationship that's ending here too. So Cancer, for you, I feel like there's a lot going on here. Okay, so I feel like, you know, even though there's a lot going on here, I feel like your guys, your spirit guys are asking you to stay focused here because I feel like there's bigger and better, better things coming in for you. Such as the gift that's coming online for you guys, okay? Tell me the Ten of Cups here. We have the High Priestess, Cancer Pisces here, the Ten of Swords, and the Seven of Pentacles. Okay, this is so interesting. You know, Cancer, it's a very psychic-like energy. Some of you guys could be foreseeing an event that's happening in your family situation here, okay? And I feel like you're being asked to trust it here too. 
I don't feel like it's a bad thing here, but I feel like you might be getting visions or that you're seeing, it might not, I mean, it might not be as specific as that, but you know, you guys might be getting visions here about things and I feel like you're being asked to trust it here and not trying to overthink it too much. What else do we have for, for cancer? What else does cancer need to know uh, from spirit here for February, 2024 for cancer, for cancer? Okay, so with the Queen of Cups here and the Sun. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Sun here. I, 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 there's a sense of avoiding something here that's coming up, that's coming up to the forefront, that's coming up to the surface here. I mean, some of you guys could be psychic mediums and you feel like you guys might be avoiding this gift here, you know? Um, you know, I just feel like the gift that's coming online or that the gift that has been bestowed upon you here, I feel like it should be honored here. You know, I feel like it should be embraced here, but I feel like maybe it's coming from the place of fear because, you know, it's kind of like you're stepping into the unknown and stuff like that. And, you know, uh, maybe you have a hard time managing it. You know, one of the things that I learned to control my gifts or manage my gifts a lot better here is working with the teacher. I feel like some of you guys just need a teacher here. Yeah. Um, so we have the two of swords here and we have the six of pentacles and then we have the devil. Oh, interesting. Capricorn energy. This is interesting. Some of you guys have seen a lot of crazy things here. I mean, I would say demons and stuff like that. You know, stuff in the underworld. You know, some of you guys... Um, some I, One of the things I'm getting here is I feel like some of you guys... It could specialize working with the underworld and doing soul retrievals and stuff like that. I've seen that. Uh, I don't know how to do that myself, but I've seen how that works. It's quite interesting, okay? Uh, but I do feel like your gifts are definitely coming online here or that, you know, you're being asked to honor and embrace your gifts here at Cancer and not, not run from it. Uh, but like I said, at, at the end of the day, you have a choice whether you want to accept it or not, okay? I, I just feel like it just comes down to finding a good teacher here that could teach you. The de devil and the lovers, okay. Six of Pentacles. And then we have the Four of Swords. Cancer, I feel like the messages that are coming through is that you can't avoid what's meant for you. You know, you can't avoid yourself because I feel like whatever is coming up here, this is a part of who you are. And I feel like for you, it, it might be a, a thing where it's been, uh, you know, it's been passed down from person to person to person in your, in your family situation here, you know? So I, I do feel like, you know, it, yeah, something was bestowed upon you here. A gift was bestowed upon you here. And I feel like you're being asked not to reject it, but to embrace it here. Um, I mean, it, it didn't take, I mean, it took me a while to embrace it myself too. So maybe it's just the process here for you guys. Yeah. Yeah, it took me a while to embrace mine. Um, so we have the uh, uh, Empress here and the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, Cancer, it might be a slower process for you guys. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, you know, it's not coming up here with the cards here, but the energy is like, okay, I'm scared, but I'm also curious to find out more, but I'm also scared uh, to not find out, but I want to find out, you know? So we have the Sun card here and the Hangman here, Piscean energy here, the Queen of Cups here, and also the King of Wands here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. Yeah, I really get the sense that you're avoiding this. Mm. Yeah, I feel like you're trying not to pay any attention to it. You know, you, I feel like if you don't pay attention to it, it'll go away, but that's not how it works. Yeah, it has to be addressed here. Yeah, in order for something to happen here. Okay, so um, Cancer, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one here. Thanks guys, bye.